welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have another makeup basket for you. I was unable to do one last week but I do have one for you this week and I'm going to go through everything very quickly and see if I can get this up before it has to be up at midnight-ish because you know my scheduling has been off. This has been a crazy month. A lot of birthdays, holidays. I'm like in my Ireland shirt because I'm filming this on the evening of St. Patrick's Day. It's 11 o'clock at night. You know how it goes. Busy life. I'm, I'm, I'm very Irish. Irish descent I should say and um, you know my family celebrates. So that's where I've been all day which is why I'm filming so late and let's do this. Okay, let's start off with my face products. First for my primer, I'm gonna be working on the Bobbi Brown Face Base. It is one that I'm probably gonna to continue to keep in the basket just because that is one that I would like to get finished first. Even though I do have another primer that I have in a project, this is the one that I'm going to prioritize. I have two foundations. I, of course, I have my Franken and I do remix it every now and again just to make sure that I have just the right color. And then I have the Essence Soft Touch Mousse. This is in 01 Matte Sand. It is a little light for me, but if I use plenty of bronzer, which I have, then it works out just fine. I've got my concealers, color correctors, and stuff here. First is the NYX in Lavender. I do have the Ulta Beauty in Green. And I have two other concealers. This is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter. And this is the one that is kind of like brightening. I use it in my under eye area, which I did not use today. And that is why my under eye, under eye area is not very bright. And then I have the Yensa one, which is like good for like spot concealing and stuff like that. So I have a lot of uh, concealers and color correctors in my basket, but you know, it, you gotta have those things. And then I have two powders. I have my rice powder in here. It's just in this container because it's easier than the big bag. And then the Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch Pressed Powder. So that is going to be my powder selection for the week. And let's get into the other face products that I have here. I have two highlighters. I have a cream highlighter, which is out of quartz from ColourPop. It is a super shock. I have the e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls, which is a baked powder. This one is my bronzer for the week, my cream bronzer, I should say, and it is actually a lipstick from Bare Minerals, and I am really concentrating on trying to get that done in the next, you know, three or four weeks, so I need to keep it in here for that. I have two things for cream blush. The first one is the Pure Lease Blush Glow BB Cheek Color in, I believe it's Sweet Rose. And then I also have a lipstick from Bite Beauty. This is in Maple. It is a very brick red. It is very vibrant. And again, this is another one I really want to get done this year. So I'm probably going to throw it into most baskets just because even if I only use it once or twice a week, it still helps keep the momentum going so that I can try and get it done by the end of the year. And then for the other blush, I have this Franken. It is my cool tone blush. And then I do have um, my magnetic palette here. I have my other blush in here. This one is from Essence. And I'm that's the one I actually have on today. It is my warm kind of where this one is more cool. I do have a bronzer in here my Benefit Hula Bronzer, so I'm working on that as well. Greta hears people walking around in the hallway, so that's why she's barking. I'm going to carefully hold up my magnetic palette so it doesn't fall over. This one is my eyebrow powder from Profusion. This is from the Hema palette. I'm really hoping to have this done in the next basket or two. Um, I've got a gel liner here from Profusion. Some more stuff here from Profusion from that same depotted palette. This is a Bare Minerals, and then we've got lots of Coastal Scents here. This one is a Franken from my Coastal Scents 88 palette, and then I have two Luxie Shadows here. She actually heard Jaeger. He's back there. He's the bigger of the two. <laughs> That's why she was barking, because he was trying to push through the bathroom door from the hallway to come into my bedroom. So we now have Jaeger roaming around in here along with Greta. All right, let's get back into this basket. I will do my palettes in a minute, but I wanna get the other eye stuff out of the way. I am working on this Essence Big Lashes Mascara and the Sephora Brow Gel in Taupe. I have two eye pencils, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and then this one is the Color Sticks. I think it's like Cool Breeze, or Citrus Squeeze, one of those two. 
I think it's Cool Breeze, but don't quote me on it. Yes, it is. It is Cool Breeze. So that is from ColourPop. Then I've got eyeliners here. I've got this one from, is it Wet n Wild? Yeah, it's turquoise. That one's in for usage, and I would like to get my usage in on it as much as possible so that I can eventually get that one rolled out. We've got Colfi Tiger Queen, which I absolutely love. I two-sided the purple and black from Ulta. The Give Beauty Blue, this one is another usage one, and I really, really want to get my usage on this before the finale next month. And then the Huda Beauty Brown Eyeliner, which I absolutely love. And I do have some Super Shock, some Jelly Much, and a loose um, shadow from Bare Minerals. I get this. Got, I keep stuff in my drawers here and it's all rattling around. So I have two Super Shocks. I have Lady Bird and this one is, I believe it's Ritz. It's the darker of the two. And two Jelly Much. I have Sage Bundle and this one is Desert Days. I love those Jelly Much as toppers. And then Bare Minerals Intuition. I think I have only one or two more uses on this so that I can get that rolled out. And I really like to make sure that I'm trying to focus on at least one product in projects where I have to roll through. And that is one that I'm really focusing on so that I can have another like roll in for that upcoming project or upcoming update. You know what I'm saying. I have my eyeshadow palettes here and then we'll go over my lip stuff. Of course, I'm going to have my two pan that palettes, my fun size and my better together palette. So Marc Jacobs and Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions. And this one is the fantasy from Marc Jacobs. They're, they're going to stay in most of the year. I will occasionally take a break from them, but those are really um, top priority as far as my eyeshadows this year. This one is the Bobbi Brown Lux Metal Rose. I have one shadow in here that I am focusing on as far as usage, I have like a certain number of uses that I need on one of the cream shadows in here. So I'm hoping to get at least some of those uses in this week. I have three shadows in this one from the BH Cosmetics Wild and Free palette for usage. And then I have two of my Essence palettes. I like the Mulvet Mulvet and Bronze This Way. These I am attempting to finish this year, but these are not priority. I just wanna have them in to kind of mix and match because both of these match well with my Pan That palettes. So that is all of my eye stuff. And then I just have to show you the lip products that I'm going to be using for this week. And hopefully I won't drop them everywhere because I have to reach over everything. So I have my lip balm, which is just the natural ice. I am hoping to have this finished this month, if at all possible. Hopefully, maybe. It is close, but it's not that close. I have one lip liner, which is Buxom... Dolly Danger, I believe, and that one's going to take a while, so that's probably going to stay in until it's done. Two lip glosses. I have an Avon Glazeware. I think it's very cool. It's starting to show windowing, so it's got me feeling very motivated on this one. And then Buxom Dolly, because, you know, it's a really pretty easy shade to wear. I have a bullet lipstick, which is from e.l.f. in Wink Pink. And then for my warm neutral tone, this one is Buxom Centerfold, and I really like it. I do have it on top of Dolly Danger, so I have this and then this on top of it. I like it. I like it a lot. That is everything for this makeup basket. Not super exciting. I don't know that I'm going to have anything finished in this basket, but I do want to make sure that I get some of the ones with usage used up or if it's not possible in this basket to at least make a good dent in them. I don't foresee anything being finished, but you know, we're, we're just gonna keep working on things. It's still early in the year and you know, things pick up for me starting in the second quarter. That's usually when things really start to pick up for me and then they just kind of like speed up throughout the year. So we're just gonna continue to play with everything and see how it goes. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.